Hi everyone, in this video let us learn how to install the WSL2 uh, in our uh, Windows system and uh, let us also try to install an Ubuntu Desert uh, in the WSL and uh, try running it. Let's get started. So uh, the first, I have uh, listed the uh, steps that has to be followed uh, in this uh, text form and uh, this uh, text will also be available in the description for your reference so uh, i'm opening opening the command prompt with admin privilege the admin privilege is a must and the first command uh, what uh, actually downloads the uh, uh, windows w uh, WSL uh, uh, application and it installs uh, the update feature in our uh, Windows system. Um, there might be uh, a restart that uh, happens if you don't specify the no restart uh, attribute. And the second thing what we do is we are installing this virtual machine platform which is a feature of the Windows, um, Windows OS and this is what which enables the WSL to WSL2 so uh, on successfully completing both the installations our WSL file system WSL application is uh, ready and uh, if I am uh, running this command which lists the available uh, Linux distributions in our uh, WSL of our Windows system we will be seeing that it, it says that there are no installed distributions so uh, let us go to the windows store first let us let us try to install the uh, um, ubuntu distribution which is one of the famous uh, distribution for uh, linux and uh, if we directly search WSL itself, then we will be provided with all the uh, available Linux desserts. And you could also see that uh, some of the desserts are paid, like uh, the, the famous ones, uh, like uh, CentOS is itself a paid one. There is no free version available for CentOS. So uh, I am just installing Ubuntu. Uh, let me try Kali Linux. I think yeah I will resume once the download completes once successful uh, download uh, the uh, that will be a prompt for you uh, which will ask you to uh, launch I have clicked it I just missed to record that uh, prompt it's fine like there will be a prompt box showing uh, launch and cancel just click on launch so uh, it will install the Kali Linux uh, WSL uh, system in our uh, windows once it gets completed it would ask for our uh, profile that is the user profile of the Linux OS so now you could see that it is asking for a username let me give demo and then a password we entering the password and that's it now you could see that this uh, is the Linux system and uh, on navigating to the root directory you will be able to see that uh, the root of the Linux system is uh, displayed here. You could also uh, access the uh, Windows uh, drives like uh, on navigating to mount. You will be able to see the C drive. Now we could see that all the Windows files are available here. We can also play around with these files. So uh, that is it. Actually, Kalinux is installed in our uh, WSL file system and uh, on, on uh, exiting it, it just closes and to start it again, just search for Kali in, um, in the search box of uh, Windows or you could open command prompt 
and just type WSL to open the default version of uh, default version of uh, uh, WSL Linux that has been configured. Okay, to know about more uh, to know more about uh, the WSL and uh, how we could play around with it and the Docker and uh, how we can uh, effectively use the latest available virtualization technologies. Do subscribe to this channel and like this video.